today is to facilitate uh, enterprises such as yours, the online media platforms, to be able to provide content and to be able to reach out to a diverse set of audience out there. If you ask me about the future of broadcasting, a lot of this is going to converge around the digital space. So we are going to move away from what we see, we call the traditional media uh, platforms to more digital space. So you find a lot more content, news, online. And it is to facilitate uh, enterprises such as yours, the online media platforms, to be able to provide content and to be able to reach out to a diverse set of audience out there. If you ask me about the future of broadcasting, a lot of this is going to converge around the digital space. So we are going to move away from what we see, we call the traditional media uh, platforms, to more digital space. So you find a lot more content, news, online. And I want to even push, the, push it further. So when people are talking about, look at Twitter for example, there's a lot of news that we already are consuming from Twitter not just from posting, but also Twitter uh, spaces. Now, if it comes to uh, Meta, for example, we are now moving in the, in the realm of what we call the Metaverse. So imagine the future where news is broadcast virtually and people are having a new experience in the virtual world, and yet that is news. It becomes both entertainment and information. So I want to say that the future of the digital space and as far as broadcasting is concerned is really really uh, promising and it is high time that a lot of us need to prepare for it and especially younger people younger people in the universities we are a new graduate and whoever is really desiring to participate in this in the digital economy from a broadcasting perspective this is the time to prepare for that Yes. Yes. And there's also more of other communicators who are proposing that we should create more opportunities. We should create more work so that it's easy for the government. We are not saying not to the people, but we rather are asking that uh, you you should provide avenues, provide. You know, we are not uh, monetizing more apps, yeah, yeah. Facebook, TikTok. Yeah, yeah. What are what are you gonna really uh, maybe implement or yeah. help us so that the space is more free for all of us? No, I, I think. One of the things I, I, I should say is that the digital space, or the online space already, as I said, is an opportunity to, uh, to build your own, uh, uh, what for example today we're talking about, the creative economy. And it means that the, you need a lot more content creators, talent con content creators, to be able to provide information or content that is monetizable, one that can generate value, one that can enable uh, creators earn a living. Now, it's a, a new space for us in this country. And the challenge I'll pose for uh, a lot more young people who are content creators is that they need to innovate more, um, learn from what they've already developed, ask themselves how, how they can make their content more valuable to the different audiences. Now, when it comes to uh, monetization, when you're using platforms, OTT platforms such as uh, Twitter, such as uh, Facebook, um, uh, Google, and so forth. I think we need to have a conversation. And I'm glad that uh, last year, uh, December, we hosted a, a, a big conference that brought together these players themselves. We brought together Facebook, we brought, uh, we brought, uh, we brought uh, Facebook here, we brought Google here, uh, representatives of Twitter, and uh, other players such as uh, the owners of Showmans. The idea was to ensure that they listen to the interests of the local content creators and provide them an opportunity for monetization. And I remember they committed to the open up to allow Kenyans actually to be able to monetize online. And it's an, it's an agenda that we are going to push, especially for us from the authority in the next uh, uh, strategic phase starting July this year 
the agenda is to really move to the digital space and to come up with policies that will allow uh, uh, content creators to earn more from that particular space, regardless as, or of the amount of tax or regardless of the taxes the government uh, is levying. I think the government is going to levy tax where they think they are going to create uh, this value creation. But the challenge for us is to create more and work with these multinationals to ensure that actually locals actually benefit from them, their creation or from their content. Okay, thank you so much, Mishira. Maybe you give a Kenya award, Kenya award. Maybe talk to them about what has led us to this award. Let me have your final remarks. Thank you very much. I think for viewers, what I would like to say is this. For us, PUSA is an opportunity to recognize excellence in the broadcasting sector. And this year, we focused on the theme of broadcasting and the creative economy. And how are we going to shape the creative economy through broadcasting? What we're excited about is that a lot more people turned out, and today we saw uh, a lot more content creators winning a very important uh, awards in this category and I think it's something we need to continue doing and I want to invite all of us to explore this space because it's really an opportunity for a lot more of us who are looking for employment, who are talented but they don't have formal employment. It's an opportunity for you to create and earn a living and that is why we had this particular event, the KUSA Award, uh, which recognizes excellence in broadcasting and we're looking forward to next year to see to it that we do even much better than what we've done today. How I invite you to join us so that we together can see how to uh, to create more opportunities in the broadcasting sector, the, especially with the online frontier, so that we can make our lives much better and the lives of our people in this country much, much better. Thank you so much. Maybe a drop and a shout out for anyone watching online TV. The future is online. The future is digital. You miss it, you miss out. So let us exploit the opportunities that are digi in the digital space. If we have Saudi TV, I want to invite you to explore the opportunities within the digital space so that you don't miss out on the uh, opportunities that these platforms create not just for yourself but for your friends and for your countries as well so saudi tv is here to provide an opportunity for you to be able to participate and participate fully and also SPM, uh, for, SPM, S uh, for S spm bars audience i know you're listening to me because you're here and you could have been here why it's not for the uh, efforts made by those who create content online. For me, as the regulator, my responsibility is to ensure that platforms such as SPM Buzz succeed so that they can also thrive. But for you, as uh, the audience, I want to invite you to keep on watching and visiting such a platforms online on the go and anywhere to experience the power of the digital space very experienced audience you're watching very experienced this is the platform for you to be online platform anywhere on the go for you to have a true experience on news on personal stories on entertainment so i think there's a great opportunity for the audience when they interact and participate around many experience. Have a fabulous experience. Thank you so much. Okay.